So we're doing the final punch list on this guy right before closing. Hopefully we close next week. So the buyers had their repair request. They, we negotiated back and forth. It wasn't too much of a negotiation. They asked for some reasonable stuff. So we're knocking that out. So I thought we'd stop by and take a look at it and see how it's going. didn't ask for that on the repair request, so we're good. They did ask for putting in uh, a main disconnect if we could, so I gotta talk to Milo and see if we're able to do that or not. And uh, let's see. Other than that, it's a very good house. I get a call, look at that. I get a call from the buyer's agent, I think Saturday morning or something. He's like, hey dude, you got a guy's out here doing AC work. I'm like, no. They were out there on Thursday doing AC work, like charging it up and checking it out. He says, well, something's wrong with the AC. It's not working. He says, we'll go outside and take a look. It's like, oh shit, it's not there. So between when Thursday rolled around and when Saturday rolled around, someone came out here and took our AC. That's the first time it's happened in a couple of years. Um, so that kind of sucks. That costs us some money. But it's one of the hazards of doing jobs. Should we put that, we put that metal thing around it? Anyway, so we put the metal fence around it, and it's one of those things where, well, the first time it's happened in a couple of years. So if we were to put a cage around every single AC condenser that we have in like a similar neighborhood, it's definitely not a bad neighborhood, but they're 400 bucks each. New AC system's two grand. So it's two grand divided by 400 for a 12, 16, it's like five houses. It's not even worth it. So it's just a cost to do a business once in a while. I guess something walks off and you gotta deal with it. But other than that, it's a grateful house. We spent some money out there. Opened up the living room. We put in the vinyl plank. All these fixtures. About, about half the doors are new. Oh, I don't think we've gone here yet. Here, go in there and take a look around. There we go. New tile surround in the, bath in the bathroom. We re resurfaced the tub. And uh, new toilet, obviously. New fixtures, new faucets. Looks like a flip. Looks like a flip. We got full ask with zero days on market because the buyers actually, they want to live next to their parents and their parents just bought a friend of ours house down the road about five or six block, uh, about five or six doors. So the agent called me up and said, hey Tim, you got this, uh, one coming up, you're going to take a look at the master. You got this one coming up, what do you want for it? So we told him. And I said, all right, let me talk to the, let me talk to these guys. So he did, and they said, yeah, let's do it. So it was one of those cases where if we stuck it on the market, we priced it pretty competitively when we talked to the, uh, the buyers. So if we stuck it on the market, maybe we'd get an extra two or three grand, but we had well-qualified buyers that wanted to do it, so we took the offer, and uh, didn't even stick it on the MLS. I love these fans, but these things are so cool. I don't want this in my house. It's got the remote and everything. Just, yeah. Turn off the lights. Turn on the lights. You can lay in bed. You don't even have to put pants on. Turn on your fan. That's awesome. Turn that off. Turn that off. So, anyway. What is our... When we do a full-on rehab like this, it's kind of nice. Because there's not a lot of, like, punch list stuff to go over. It's really just a couple things. A couple things we didn't really do, like that hot water heater. We knew it was older, but it's like, hey, if we don't have to replace it, it was working, so we didn't want to replace it. Up in the attic, we didn't rewire the house, we put in new fixtures. So there were a couple of wires that just weren't in junction boxes up in the attic, so stuff like that. We just go up there, whatever wires are like stuck together with wire nuts, we put them in a junction box. Stuff like that, maybe we should have caught ahead of time, but we caught so much other stuff that a couple things that are really easy to fix. Just knock it out, you know, knock it out right before sale. 
uh, doesn't really doesn't tend to scare off the buyers too much as long as you do a good job with everything else. So that's it. Set to close on this house. I bought it for a great price. We'll put some of the details down in the comments. So we bought it for a great price. Did a kick-ass renovation. We ended up spending right around fifty thousand dollars on this house. So a lot, a lot of rent. That's a lot of work. We did the foundation. We did the roof. We did a new condenser. So those are some big ticket items that are you know, foundations, five, six, seven grand on a house this size. Roof, five grand. Condenser, just for the outside things, like two grand. So this stuff really adds up, but it turned out really well. We're happy with it. We bought it for a great price, sold it for a great price. Put a lot of money into it, but that's kind of the business we're in. So if you like this content, make sure you share it. Smash that like button, because that's important. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, because that's what I hear the kids saying about it. I don't know much about that. I'm just a real estate guy, I'm not a YouTube guy. And that's it, so hang out, and uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching.